Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the DIY Packraft backband, which can also be used as a lightweight camping pillow. Please note that the example backband shown in this video is a prototype, subject to change, so don't be confused if some of the shapes in your kit look slightly different from what you can see on screen. If in doubt, check the webpage for the most up-to-date information. After you've separated and identified the fabric parts, fold the front and the back of the backrest in half to find and mark the center of each edge. Using the pen marks, draw a center line lengthwise down each piece and mark the center of the center line. Then find baffle D. For older kits that have a baffle D that is 15 centimeters wide, or about 6 inches, follow the older backrest assembly video for the next few steps to attach the baffle to the front and back pieces of the backband. In newer kits, baffle D is 18 centimeters wide, or about 7 inches, so you can use the full width of your iron to attach it, as I will do here. Draw lines 35 millimeters, or 1 and 3 eighths inches, in from the longer edges of baffle D, and then mark their centers. Line up baffle D with the marks you made on one part of the backrest, and tack along the line with the edge of your iron. After it's tacked down, weld it in place. To avoid touching the upwards facing TPU with your iron, don't iron all the way to the ends or the edge of baffle D. It's designed to work with a few millimeters of fabric unwelded around the edges. Then fold the baffle back over itself and cut a reinforcing strip from scrap fabric, slightly longer than the baffle and slightly wider than your iron. Center the reinforcing strip over the folded edge of the baffle and seal it in place. Note how I'm using the edge of my roller to push the fabric down into the joint. Force the edge of your iron into the fold to make sure it's sealed very well there. Again, it's not necessary to weld all the way up to the edges of the reinforcing strip. Flip the baffle over and run your iron over it from this side to relax the fold. Then lay out the other side of the backrest, TPU side up, and orient the first piece over it with the baffle facing down. Then fold back the top piece and align the baffle with the pen marks. Tack it in place and weld it down with a reinforcing strip, the same way you did on the other side. Examine your welds to make sure the TPU layers are fused together between the fabric layers, and that the TPU isn't damaged beyond the ends of the welds. The TPU is what makes the fabric airtight, so if there's an area that looks like it could have been damaged by the iron, seal a small scrap of fabric over it now. When you're satisfied that the baffle is securely attached to both of the larger pieces, wrap a top-up valve stem with several layers of masking tape to protect it from your iron. Insert it through the oval hole so the stem points toward the nearest corner of the fabric. Use your iron to weld the fabric to the valve stem, bending the stem out of your way and trying not to touch it with your iron so it doesn't melt. Avoid ironing beyond the edge of the flange, or you might damage the airtight TPU layer there. If that happens, you can seal a ring of scrap fabric to the bottom of the flange as well, or just a small patch, as I'm doing here. Remember not to seal the patch too close to the edge of the fabric, because you'll need at least 10 millimeters free to seal around the perimeter. When the valve stem is securely welded in place, remove the masking tape. Find one of the three pieces that look like this and mark the center of the long edge. Align it with the center of one of the backrest's longer edges, and then tack it in place with your iron. 
Then line up the edges of the backrest and tack the entire length of this side, but don't fully weld it yet. Line up another one of these pieces like this, on the shorter edge that's farthest away from the valve stem, and tack the edge in place. Tack the third and final piece in place too, and tack the rest of the perimeter. When you tack the final edge, work out any wrinkles or excess fabric before you make any permanent welds. If you need to, you can reheat some of your tack lines to release the fabric and readjust it. The edges don't have to line up perfectly, but if the lower one extends out farther than the upper one, trim it so you don't get TPU on your iron when you weld them together. Before you begin welding the backrest's perimeter together, it's important to remember what will happen if you don't seal it in straight lines, so refer back to the heat sealing video if you need a refresher. And if you make a mistake and accidentally weld a small area inboard of your straight line, move the whole weld inward to match it so you don't cause a leak later on. Weld around the entire perimeter of the backrest using a roller or a rag to press the fabric together inboard of the attachment points. Clean up the edge by trimming it, and then round off the corners. Now let's attach the straps. I've included some pre-cut straps in your kit, but you can always make more from the extra floor fabric. You'll want about 45 centimeters or 18 inches for each of the three straps, so you can cut all three from one of the provided pieces. You'll notice that the two sides of the strap have a different finish, and I find that the ladder locks grab the shinier side better than the matte side, so I face the shiny side towards the front of the backrest, which is the side that doesn't have the valve mounted in it. To attach a strap, fit the end into the cutout and sandwich it between two pieces of scrap fabric. Iron it from both sides and then trim off the excess scrap. If you cut the end of the strap at a 45 degree angle, it'll be easier to weave it through the slots in the ladder lock. Attach the other two straps in the same way. Make a small hole in the center of each of the two triangular parts that are across from each other, just big enough for a piece of shock cord to fit through. Roughen the inside of the valve stem and the white part of the valve. Coat the white part with a small amount of seam grip or aqua seal and push it into the valve stem. Allow it to cure for at least eight hours. Inflate the backrest and test for leaks. Re-iron any areas that aren't fully welded. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.